Hi, I'm Joe Busink, and we're here at B&H, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about storytelling at weddings. I think it's uh, the way that I shoot, and I think it's crucial, more important than I would say. You know, when I started, uh, gosh, when was that, 1995, it was all about posing and uh, not much about the story of the wedding. And I thought at that point in time that that's what would make every wedding different is that if you told that story of that particular client's wedding, it'll be different from the next client's wedding. And I thought I would separate myself by shooting it that way. And, and I was told at that time, no, 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 it, weddings are all about tradition and you have to do it this way and you have to do it with the Hasselblad and I said oh actually I don't want to I want to do it with the 35 millimeter camera and uh, they said you'll never make it you'll last six months and uh, you're flashing the pan you won't last long so here I am 19 years later and I'm still doing it the same way I think it's a great way to do it so 90 percent of the books that I saw back then when I got started was uh, that post formal shots 10% was maybe details and uh, yeah, the story, the story. And I think that's where I had a disconnect. I thought it was more about the story because when I saw uh, one of my first weddings, when I realized, gosh, I wish I had a camera in my hand, this is when I started. And before I started, I actually went to two weddings where I said that. Uh, I went home and I wish I had a camera and I couldn't figure out why was it that I said that? Here's why. And, and I'm sure while the photographers are very good, uh, they spent two, three hours doing formals and missed out on the story that unfolded behind them. Completely oblivious because they were concentrating as to how many groupings they can put together, make sure everything was perfect. And this whole story went on behind their backs that they were not even privy to. And I said to myself, that's what needs to be photographed. There is what makes the difference between your wedding, my wedding, and Aunt Izzy's wedding from five years ago, is the fact that there is a story there. Every wedding has a unique story to it. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna take a 35 millimeter and I'm gonna document stories of the weddings and I'm gonna do wedding photography. For me, what was really great about this idea was the fact that I was able to insert myself into intimate moments between human beings and become part of that moment, to dance with those moments. And that to me was so intriguing, so powerful to me, to be witness to those beautiful things that unfolded in front of me. And then to document them and to gift them with this, that they can 20 years later open up the books and go, oh, I remember what I was thinking in this moment, or I remember what I was feeling in this moment, and bring it back to them like it was yesterday. And that to me was powerful. And that to me, I wanted to be a part of that. The interesting thing is, is that when you photograph only posed stuff, it, it becomes more about who. And, and when you tell a story, it's not just who, because who's in there, but it's also where, when, why, how, all those other questions are answered. Um, you know, it's different seasons, different venues, different things unfold. I mean, that I think is what's brilliant. That's what separates wedding to wedding. And you know what? You'll never be bored because every wedding is unique. It's not just their story. The images also show how I feel about their story. There's no way that any of us here as photographers can hit the shutter and not leave a piece of yourself into the image. So you're also saying a little bit about yourself when you're photographing a wedding, photographing a portrait, photographing anything. You're also giving commentary to who you are. The most important thing about photography, the most important thing is who you are. And I want you to think about that for a second. If you and nine others are at an event and you all shoot and some moment unfolds and you all hit the shutter, ask yourself this, are all the images the same? It's impossible, right? But you say to yourself, but it's that same moment. We all shot it. I all heard the shutters going off at about the same time. About the same time. The difference is, is that the difference between the person next to you shooting and you shooting may well be that that person decided to shoot it low with a wide angle while you were with a long lens or a portrait lens close up and the timing was off by a split second. Why do you think? It's because of who you are when you decided to hit that shutter. 
okay? And so when you tell a story, you're also saying something about yourself as well. It's great to be witness at a wedding or anywhere that you might be shooting in the streets or at a portrait session, you're still a witness to these people and who they are. To get the essence of the person in the moment, for me, is the most important thing. And again, that said, it's also about me and how I feel about that particular image that I saw unfold. Click. It, it says a lot about why did I shoot it that way? And if you really want to figure out why you document in the way that you do, whether it's a portrait or a wedding, take your favorite images you've ever shot. Um, lock yourself in the bedroom, bring a glass of wine, turn on a little music, and I want you to study those images that you love so much that you photographed, probably over the years, right? Or even if you're a beginner, four months ago. And I'm gonna tell you that if you study this long enough, you're gonna find yourself in every one of these pictures. Every last one of them. Because these photos say something about you. And it's really important to realize that and understand that while you're telling their story, your story's also in there as well. And I think that's what's brilliant about storytelling. Well, thanks again for being here. Uh, you can catch me, I'm Joe Busink, at the B&H Event Space. I'm sure I'll be there in the next couple years. You'll see me somewhere in there. Uh, my own workshops, I conduct them once in a while. See me on Creative Life. If you need to reach out to me, it's joe at joebusink.com. Thanks again. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.